Hi, in this video, I'll show you how you can easily put the subscription form to your WordPress site to collect subscribers and send them newsletters using the WP Newsman newsletter plugin. After activation, the plugin automatically configures all necessary settings. Let's check if everything is set up correctly. Go to WP Newsman and click on Settings. Click on Email Settings tab. By default, the plugin uses your admin email settings on your blog. Here, you can change the senders from name, email address, and return email address. The return email address has to be on the same domain as the sender's address and must be dedicated solely to bounces, undelivered messages, and delivering notifications, nothing else. If you check the Send Welcome Message option, the subscriber will receive the welcome message immediately after confirming his subscription. You can include a link to a file on your server into the welcome message, for example, a link to a free PDF report, and send it to the subscriber as a bonus for their subscription. If you check the Send Unsubscribe Notification option, the plugin will send an unsubscribe notification to the user after he unsubscribes from your list. Oftentimes, the subscriber can forward your newsletter to other people. Someone can click on the unsubscribe link and unsubscribe the original recipient. So, with this option checked, the plugin will immediately send an unsubscribe notification to the user, and if he was unsubscribed by mistake, the user can go to your site and re-opt in. Now go to Delivery Settings tab. Here, you can use the throttling option to accommodate underpowered shared hosting servers by throttling the number of emails that are sent per minute, per hour, or per day. Contact your hosting company and ask if they have any sending limits. We suggest 200 emails per hour to be safe. Keep your frequencies below that limit because your WordPress site might send other emails too, like email notifications for a new comment or new subscriber. WP Newsman supports different delivery options. By default, the plugin uses PHP Mail. This mode works on the majority of servers and will work well for you too while you have a small list of subscribers or just start using our newsletter plugin to collect subscribers. Click Send Test Email to test your settings. You'll see Test Email was sent to your email at the top of your monitor and the message that your SMTP settings are correct will come into your inbox. If you have more than 2,000 subscribers, we recommend that you use Amazon SES SMTP settings to send your newsletters. With Amazon SES, you can forget about email limits set by your host, while at the same time enjoy high deliverability rates like big email service providers. To use Amazon SES SMTP, choose the Use Custom SMTP Server option and click on Load Amazon SES SMTP Settings. Then type your Amazon SES SMTP credentials. Click Update Options to save the changes. After you make sure the plugin settings are correct, you can put the subscription form to your site and start collecting subscribers. Go to Appearance and click Widgets. Drag and drop newsletter subscription form to the sidebar and click Save. It's done! WP Newsman is ready for work. Now you can test yourself how the plugin works on your site. Go to your site, type your name and email in the opt in form, and click Subscribe. You see the confirmation required action page, and this is what your subscribers will see after they subscribe. The confirmation email will be sent at their email address. You can customize all action pages to meet your marketing needs in the WP Newsman admin. Now go to your inbox and check your mail for the confirmation message. The confirmation message will be sent to each new subscriber asking them to click on the link and confirm their subscription. Again, you can customize the confirmation email as you like under Email Templates in the WP Newsman Admin. 
When the subscriber clicks on the confirmation link, they see the thank you page and receive the welcome message. The subscriber is saved to your WordPress database with the status confirmed. Using the double opt-in method on your website allows avoid false subscriptions made by spam bots because our plugin will automatically delete all users who did not confirm their subscription within seven days. This way, you can be sure that each subscriber on your list really wants to receive your newsletters. When you have something new to tell your subscribers, you can easily create and send them a newsletter. Go to WP Newsman and click on Mailbox. To create a newsletter, you can use templates supplied with the plugin. Or write a simple message without using any template. Click the mouse inside the To field to select your list. Type your newsletter subject. Type your message. Click Send if you'd like to send your newsletter immediately, or select Schedule Sending On to send your message in the future. If you do not want to send the message now, click Close. Your message will be saved as a draft in the mailbox and you'll be able to return to it later. You can test how your newsletter will look like in the recipient's inbox, and if it won't end up in the junk mail folder by clicking the Send Test Email button. When you're ready to send your newsletter, click Send. The plugin starts sending your newsletter. You can stop and resume sending here. Now you can see for yourself how it's easy to start collecting subscribers and sending them newsletters with our WP Newsman plugin. I hope you enjoy using our newsletter plugin for WordPress. Thank you.